Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be another Shop My Stash video, this time featuring the Stila in the Light palette, but I'm starting this tutorial off with another throwback. This is Sigma's eyeshadow base in the shade Provoke. And I'm applying that using a synthetic flat shader brush. This one is from the brand UBU or UBU. It's their number 21 brush. Now onto the shadows. A few of you guys actually asked for a look using this one. So here I am starting off with the shade Kitten and I'm using the Makeup Forever 220 brush to apply that to my inner corner. Then I'm moving into the shade Sunset using that same brush and I'm patting that all over the lid. And sticking with that same brush, I'm going into the shade Bubbly, which is a nice champagne to help blend both Kitten and Sunset together. Moving on to matte shades, I'm using the shade called Bliss, which is a medium matte taupe, and swiping that through my crease to help blend everything out. The brush I'm using is actually the crease side of a dual-ended IT Cosmetics brush for Ulta. Now going into a more rich matte brown, this is the shade Sandstone, and I'm using the crease end of another double-ended brush, but this one is from Crown Brush. I am sweeping that starting in my outer corner and then running that through my crease. And I'm using the same brush as I did with the crease shade before to help blend those two shades out throughout the crease. Finally, the last shadow for this look is Ebony. It's a matte black in this palette. And I'm using that same crease brush to start in the outer corner and blend it into the shadows already on my lid and slightly into the crease. For liner, I'm going in using the liner that actually comes with this palette. It is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Damsel, which is a rich, deep, chocolatey brown. And I'm applying that to my waterline. Then, shopping my stash as much as I could with mascara since it's one of the first things to expire. This is Lancome's Grandiose Wide Angle Effect Mascara, and it's one that I forgot how much I love. It adds both length and volume, and the formula really lasts all day on me. The foundation I'm using is another requested product, actually. It's CoverGirl's 3-in-1, and I'm using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush to buff that in all over. On to highlighting and contouring. This is a product I've been really excited about lately. It is Anastasia's new contour cream kit. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the shade Cool Pink to apply directly in my under eye area to help correct and brighten my dark under eye circles. And the brush I'm using here is the Sigma 3D HD brush. The density of these bristles makes it really easy to buff and blend products, especially in smaller areas of the face like the under eye area. And the precise peak that these bristles come to make it really easy to get nice and close to the eye area as well as applying a precise highlight to the bridge of my nose which you'll see in this next step. Now taking that same brush I'm going into the shades banana and vanilla both mixing them and I'm using them to go beyond my under eye area and highlight the tops of my cheeks as well as besides my nose. Then you can also see me here going up and down the bridge of my nose as well as the center of my forehead. Now on to adding a little bit more definition to the face. I'm using Real Techniques contour brush and the shade nude and I am applying that around my hairline, my temples, into the hollows of my cheeks pretty broadly and underneath my jawline. I'm also using Real Techniques concealer brush to apply that same shade down the sides of my nose and then I'm using that contour brush to blend that out. Next, I'm really chiseling out my cheeks and I'm using that same concealer brush as before and the shade Cinnamon from this palette and I'm placing that kind of right at the bottom of where I laid that initial bronze shade down. Once I apply it with that concealer brush, I'm gonna go back in with the contour brush and buff that out. And before I'm completely done with this palette, I went back into that combo of banana and vanilla and used the same flat shader brush that I used right off the bat in this video to apply my brow bone highlight. For blush, I'm using Stila's Convertible Color in the shade Peach Blossom. This is the Real Technique Sculpting Brush, and I took this out of their Fields of Floral Convertible Color palette. Because these can also be used as a lip color as well, I'm going into that same shade Peach Blossom and mixing it with Petunia and just applying that to my lips to finish this entire look off. And that's everything you need to create this Shop My Stash look using the In The Light palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I have been loving you guys' suggestion for these style of videos please keep them coming. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!